Hi there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm hoping to bring you two targets for the price of one. I'm going to be shooting the Sol Nebula using my Esprit, the 2600MC and an Optolong L Extreme filter. This will be my third session out by the way with the ASI Air Plus which I've found to be just fantastic to use, I can't recommend it enough. At the same time as I'm shooting data on that, Chloe is also going to be capturing data on the Heart Nebula which is right next to my target. She's going to be using the ASI Air Pro, the AZ GTI, a William Optics Red Cap as the telescope and a 1600mm and narrowband filters for all of her data capture. We've got a full moon up tonight and we actually had the same sort of thing just last night which was the first night of data capture for us both on these new targets but I hope it's not going to affect things too much as we're both shooting in narrowband. Let's see how it turns out. Well, everything's finally set off and running and I have to say it was totally painless. It just did an autofocus itself. I just set guiding off and now everything's up and running and I can head off inside with my phone and keep an eye on the imaging session from in there, which is I think what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just set a time lapse off and uh, we'll see how we go from there. All right then, it's 3.41 in the morning now, and I thought I'd give you a quick update. Chloe's mount has just performed a meridian flip. Uh, mine's due to do its own flip in about 15 more minutes time, as I'm on the soul and she's on the heart, so she flipped slightly before me. Um, of course, everything is totally automated due to the fact that we're both using the ASI air systems. Um, mine's going to be doing a automatic refocus as well after it's flipped which should be interesting to see if it all goes off I expect it will because it did that first session out and every other session actually I've tried it this will be my third session out with it now and uh, I have to say I'm finding it kind of difficult to get used to there being just nothing for me to do I feel a little bit useless um, really all I have to do is just set things off and sit back in fact I'll be quite honest with you, most of tonight I've had to do completely nothing at all. Uh, me and Chloe have just been inside playing video games together, that's all we've done all night. Um, really neither imaging system has required any input from us, which I have to admit is pretty damn nice. Uh, being able to be completely hands off and just focus on other things while gathering data is really quite valuable because there's nothing more valuable than time I guess. So I'm about to head off inside now while I wait for dawn. Um, I did end up staying outside uh, watching Orion kind of peek its way out from some trees at the end of my garden. To do so I had to push myself into a, a bush at the side of uh, our yard. So I really hope no neighbours saw me doing that otherwise they'd probably think I've gone completely loopy. Uh, just stood there pushed into a bush looking into space. <laughs> but it is what it is. I wanted to see Orion. Um, Another thing I wanted to do obviously is watch my mount, do its own radiant flip and refocus and reacquaint its target and all those things and uh, safe to say it all went off completely without a hitch. Um, I kind of just stood there with a stupid grin on my face while it did all of this and uh, admittedly while I can see why it might not be for everybody, some people might like to be really hands on with their equipment throughout the night, um, there's definitely no innuendo in that. Uh, I actually don't, uh, as it turns out, I do like to just watch it do its own thing because, uh, how can I put this really, I feel like it 
for the price that it costs to buy this unit I'd, I'd buy it all over again there's no doubt about that and i will be sticking with this unit but while it might not give you like an immediate image quality boost like say a change in telescope or lens or camera or indeed mount and things like that can do um it is gonna lead to better quality images at least in my case because while I was already extremely keen anyway, and I was willing to carry all my gear outside and laptop and things like that, the chance of little bits of sky, um, I'm gonna be even more keen to carry everything outside now. Now I know that the equipment setup uh, side of things is just so much easier and simpler. I, what's really gonna stop me from doing it? Uh, there's, there's nothing to be lost by just carrying things outside and chancing it at little bits of clear sky. Um, it's certainly going to lead to longer integrations and more targets for me, I do think. So in that regard, it will lead to better images. Anyway, I'm um, sorry for rambling on and on. This is becoming a bit of a, a theme in my videos, I think. Um, I'm going to head off inside now. I'm just going to keep an eye on things. Not that there's really anything expected that I'll need to do as it seems to be fully automated. Uh, I'll just wait for dawn. I'm not going to have to take any flats uh, by us for this session as I've still got those left over from when I shot the ghost of Cassiopeia. I haven't moved anything whatsoever so they will still be uh, valid to use. Oh well, guys, it's 5.42 in the morning. Dawn's breaking just over there in the east, if you can see that. Uh, and really I'm feeling perkier than I have absolutely any right to at this time in the morning. The session's gone off completely without a hitch. I just couldn't have hoped for anything better. Um, and I really do mean that. In total, throughout the nights of imaging, Chloe managed 145 five minute shots uh, in hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur on the Heart Nebula through the little red cat rig. And I've only managed 80 five minute shots as I was imaging for a few nights less than her with uh, my Esprit rig. But all the same, I'm hoping that I'm gonna have a nice pair of images to share with you. And most of all, I've just had some fun. And I really do hope in that same breath that you've had some fun watching this video. As always, I really do appreciate your time, guys. Um, without you, these videos and this hobby would all of a sudden lose some of its sheen. So thank you very much indeed for your time and all your support that you give. A very special thank you to everybody who's joined my YouTube channel, all my members. Uh, as always, you guys really are fantastic and your support is hugely appreciated. So thank you very much indeed. With that said, this is going to be it for a little bit of a while now uh, until some more clear skies come and I get another target picked out. I'm open to suggestions if you want to leave a comment down below. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and clear skies.